Okay, now we're going to work on shading, okay? And let me express, do not get hung up on this, <laughs> you know? You know, you'll hear me say it a lot of times, but I know I'll have a student that just sits here for two hours making a silhouette still. So don't get too hung up on this. Look at, this is how messy mine is. I'm not really worried about it, okay? And I'm a perfectionist, so. But not at this point. This is the point where you have fun, so. All right, so first thing, you should probably make a copy of your sword and you should probably move it to the furthest layer down that you can't touch, okay? So keep it out of your reach. In the heat of battle, you'll wanna grab this sword. So what I wanna do is put it way down at the bottom, duplicate it, and put a copy up here at the above. There we go. So, out of reach, out of harm's way. And what I can do is use command to click on this every once in a while. And then I can clean it up using that in the very end. And any time that you break protocol and make your silhouette to the point where you might want to keep it, you have to make a copy of it and throw it down there. That's the only rule that I ask you to do. Other than that... Um, what we're going to do is work on the blade first and get that down pat. I'm going to start out with, and I'm not quite used to these new name conventions, but I will adapt as fast as I can. So the first thing is I'm going to coat the blade in gray. Okay, so click here and then hold shift and click or hold shift and click. Holding shift will allow you to make a straight line, okay? Just like that. And I'm gonna make my thing a little bit smaller and go down the center one more time. Try to get down the natural center of things. There we go. And then I'm gonna coat it one more time with a big, huge stroke. Good. Now I have light black, which is nice. And I'm just going to kind of go around the outside edge of this very quickly. And important to know that I'm not letting up on the mouse. And if I do make a mistake, I just kind of undo. So I'm going to try this maneuver here, there we go, and then break it into that, there we go. And then I'm going to use some, this light black to make a blood groove. So to do that, I just kind of go down the center, let up. And do that a couple times, each time I'm making it less and less and less. Perfect. Okay, if you want to clean up the outside edges, you can. Select inverse, delete. See how easy that was? Not hard at all, right? Okay. What you should do is probably uh, keep all your tones the same way, and here's how you do that. You switch over to black, which is 100%. You grab that black, which is a gray, and you just clean up that tone all the way through this. Just like that. Grab your silhouette, select inverse, delete. Now I'm only working on one half of the sword because eventually I'm going to end up mirroring it over anyway. Now this stuff. This is the fun stuff down here. I'm going to take black and I'm going to fix, my, fix up my silhouette a little bit. I am going to work uh, symmetrically as, as close as possible um, on this part. And boy, this 
does look like a skull, doesn't it? And I'm going to probably just add a little bit of a bit here. The thing about silhouetting is use your iconic um, nature of things where you're kind of looking at it and you're like, wow, that shape kind of looks like a skull. Okay. So it must be super white light was what I'm looking for. And here, I'm just kind of taking this shape a little further and I'm going over the top of it. Okay. I'm not getting hung up on detail. What I'm doing is building up like a clay. You can almost think of this as like building layers of clay. And I know a skull to kind of look like like that. And then I'm going to take light black and just move it into the, the eyes. And you see how what I'm doing here is just I'm using black to take and cut into the form and I'm using white to puff it out. And then what I do is I kind of take it and put a whole lot of gray over the top of it and I suck it back in again and then I take light black and I bring it back out and I keep doing that over and over and what happens is you get an incredible amount of depth but I stayed very zoomed out at this point this is still my silhouette phase where I just kind of work out shape it is not my finished render. Okay, so I just want to get the conveyed image of a skull in this area. Again, you don't have to do the skull if you don't want to. You know, just it, whatever your sword looks like is your sword, and it's going to be different than mine. But look out for shapes in it, and try to maybe make a real world image into it. You'd be surprised. So if I zoom out here. I can now look at my smudge tool as a way to kind of fix up the eyes a little bit. And I can really work out those eye sockets. Also what's nice is you see these teeth. Okay, so I could put like some, I could suck this in a little bit, and I can make this grow out, and I can get these teeth down pat. Maybe I add just a little bit of fierce boneness here. Nope. All right, so there's my skull. That wasn't hard, right? You're like, uh, <laughs> so don't, don't feel bad. Just go, go about it and have fun with it. Now, here's what I could do for the, some of the rest of it very quickly. If I can hit command and click over the top of my silhouette, I now have the ability to draw over here and have my silhouette on there. So now for the rest of this stuff, I'm just kind of really brushing across these shapes in the direction of the shape. just like that. And then I'm going to use light black on the very bottom, maybe 
Late black with a little bit more black to it. And all I'm doing here is creating some depth. Okay, then I'm gonna mix up the super white light and just work out those shapes. And I, I go right over the top of that. Again, I'm only going to do one half of the sword. Now this kind of looks like a horn, right? Alright, so what I'm going to do here is work out a little bit of a shape. I'm going to place something like that over here. And I'm going to also do one of these numbers. And I'm just going over the top of this a few times. And what I'm doing here is laying down an incredible amount of texture over the top of this. Then I'm going to go with super white light and do the same thing. And I can use super light black to kind of shade it all together. Alright, please move on to the next video where I can show you some more.